can, you know. I, uh, I actually dove halfway into the river to get mine because it almost got off the, the hook. Uh, but I got him in, and we had fish for dinner. Chuck loved to fish. That was a while back. That was a good 15 years ago. We, uh, you know, we did a lot together. We listened to music. Uh, we barbecued. We had barbecue. We wanted to have barbecued chicken today, but Mother Nature didn't co cooperate. So, and Dave, thank, thank you for the, the great chicken. Uh, Not too late. Gosh. I want to tell. Yes. I want. I want to tell of the wonderfulness that happened to me through Chuck. Through Chuck, I met Nicole. Year after year, she would come up and visit and spend time with me. And, and she loved her daddy and he loved her. And we had a wonderful Christmas one year. We just had it all. Yes, we did. And I would have never known her without him and her coming to see us and stay with us. And then, along with your story about the flagging, <laughs> one time he was flagging by Hagen's on Meridian, and he seen my car, and I tooted and waved, and he put the sign down and ran across the street. <laughs> <laughs> and I rolled down my window, and we're chatting, and I said, you're on duty. And he, he was just, he was just great. He, and like you said, no bad words for anyone. We'd sit on my deck and have a beer, and the guy was just as gentle as a bear. He's a Capricorn. <laughs> That's one thing me and him would talk about. We'd be like, oh, you're a Cappy, right? Yeah, I'm a Cappy. Well... He's like, and I, I lent him the Capricorn book, you know, so I could read it and stuff. And, um, he's like, wow, that's totally me, you know. And that's you, too, you know. <laughs> you can be a jerk as well as me, you know. Well, but, it's a choice. Um, but, <laughs> anyway, he was one of the coolest people I've ever met, and he was one of my best fucking friends, okay. Excuse right. my language. And I don't have very many friends. Okay, he was a fucking friend. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying. <laughs> Buddy for life. A good effing friend. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else got something to say? Say it now. Got him, got him. We're well, a part to our duties. <laughs> All right. You would, say, you would say Goomba. Let's get this Goomba. show on the Goomba. road. Kumbaya. Or Skumba Lagata. Let's get this over. Right now, anyway. Kumbaya. Just an Italian swear thing. I found oh, out. He's getting fired up. <laughs> Nicole came up here when Chuck was in trouble and, and took care of her dad at the end there and looked after the situation. And, and uh, I was really proud of her Yeah. for that. And she had a tough job to do, but she did it well. And her, Chuck's ashes were sent back. For her to, to keep care of, and they've been sitting someplace in her bedroom for a while. Did he, did he behave himself finally? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we got, we got these ashes here, and we're going to get this tree ready here. And now, folks, when we get done here today with the planting of the tree, we do have some cards inside, and we were going to put them on the tree, but I think they're going to get moist, and whatever you say, the card's going to run. So we'll let you get. Sign the, uh, something on a card, to, the memory of Chuck that you might have, and put it on the coffee table in the living room. Eventually, we'll hang them on the tree. Uh, and this will be Chuck's memorial tree. We're going to put half of the ashes in here with some nice food and stuff. This tree was was, uh, was a Japanese maple. My Aunt Becky sent up $100 for me and Dan to, to help towards the, the memorial today, and we bought this Japanese maple. For Chuck, Beautiful. It's a memorial tree, yeah. Beautiful. and it'll be here with his ashes there, and it'll grow nice and strong, and that's that's going to be his. <laughs> and, and if you know, if Chuck was here, he'd be holding chicken and petting chicken. You know, <laughs> <laughs> he loved the cat. No, he'd be like, chicken, you get your ass inside. <laughs>
You know, whatever. can't barbecue it, you pet it. Yes. So pick the tree up. Let's do it. Let's Brian do it. and I are gonna lift this tree out of here so we can get down to the 